Now, following lovely Miss uh, Janina, I had to use um, other tactics. I need graphics. Okay. Um, let me uh, thank you for giving us this opportunity to share with you a little bit about True Heritage Brew. And um, uh, to begin our story, we have to start with the Singapore Sling. Um, I'll just take you a little bit down memory lane, like a uh, hundred years back. Okay. Um, so this is our Singapore Sling. Um, in 1915, um, when it was the British colonization of Singapore, uh, there were naval officers uh, and um, during the happy hour they would be hanging around at the Raffles Hotel because it's a prestigious hotel for the naval officers. So, you know, he saw this lovely lady at the bar and what trick does he use? He offers to get her a drink. But uh, not just any drink, he wanted to make a special drink for this special lady. So she was like wearing a lovely red outfit. So he said, he told the bartender, I would like to have a special drink that will match her outfit. So the bartender, Mr. Nyam, um, he's a Hainanese guy at the bar. He made her a special drink and um, she liked it. And of course this drink went down very well um, and became an iconic drink for the Raffles Hotel and also of Singapore. It's a Singapore thing. In fact, um, it, um, 80 years later, when the hotel was rebuilt, that's when they commissioned uh, Mr. Chow uh, to create the original mix. Because the demand for the drink was so great, it's just too much for the bartender to be mixing all the drinks for all the hotel guests. So a uh, mix was required. And from the pre-mix, we have the whole range. We extended to the, uh, the RTD, the ready to drink and um, to the different types of packaging to meet the demands of the different uh, retail. Uh, it was, um, it had an impressive following on the Singapore airline and the tourist locations in Singapore, like the Gardens by the Bay, and um, hotels like Shangri-La, Grand Copton, and Carlton. And now it's being sold in the uh, big supermarkets as well. So, um, that was the, that's the Singapore thing, that's how we started. Um, around, um, say, you know, 2000, there's the resurgence of the cocktail revolution, and a lot of ladies, you know, are really into, you know, coming out, nightclubbing and partying, and they really like the cocktail. But the same problem again, when you have high demand, um, you have to make a lot of cocktails, so you will have the same uh, situation of, um, to make a cocktail, you need uh, special skills, and um, a lot of them, you need more than one um, liquor, and um, you will need to source different ingredients. So, um, Mr. Chow was inspired to come out with more cocktails, iconic cocktails from around the world, not just Singapore Sling. And uh, we started the full range in 2011, and we have extended it to six other drinks, the Margarita, Mojito, the Long Island, um, pina Colada, Mai Tai, and Sex on the Beach. So these are pre-mixes and, um, and it's very simple. You just have to add a juice, uh, you add a mixer for that particular cocktail, add ice and shake it. So it's really pour, shake and serve. Um, it works very well for, say, somebody at home, like the ladies who want to have a party. And, um, but for the horeca industry, it's a, it's a great uh, solution as well. Just to use the Singapore Sling as an example, uh, but this is pricing in Singapore, okay? You can see uh, on the left side, the standard Singapore Sling drink. You, uh, you don't need to look at the numbers. Just look at the number of alcohol and uh, juices you have to mix. So there are like eight items. And then on the right, uh, for the Singapore Sling, you just need the premix, the juice, and um, yeah, uh, two juices and um, the savings is about 42%. So, um, with, of course, there's the cost savings. And the other thing that you save on with the premixes would be time, because now your resources um, could be used to you know, better serve your customers, you can uh, expand your business. So, um, well, I hope this is inspiring for you guys. Uh, thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, uh, please uh, don't ask me. Ask Mr. Ramel or Mr. Chow. <laughs> thank you.